Peter Tchaikovsky was born on May 7, 1840 in Voltkins, Russia. He was the second oldest of six children with four brothers and one stepsister. Peter and his siblings received an education from a French governess, and at the age of 10 he went to a boarding school in St. Petersburg. When he was 21, he took music lessons at the Russian Music Society, then enrolled at the St. Petersburg Conservatory. Two years later, he moved to Moscow to be a professor at the Moscow Conservatory. In an attempt to hide his homosexuality, he married a young music student named Antonia Milyukova in 1877. He abandoned her only a few weeks after the wedding. From 1878 to 1890, he had a patron named Nazdia von Meck. She gave him a monthly allowance with the stipulation that they would never meet. He died on November 6, 1893 in St. Petersburg at age 53. The official cause of death was reported to be cholera, but many believe he might have committed suicide. His homosexuality was about to be exposed and this would have destroyed his reputation. Peter had a collective body of 169 pieces including symphonies, operas, ballets, concertos, cantatas, and songs. He is well known for Romeo and Juliet, a fantasy overture, but he was most celebrated for his ballets such as The Sleeping Beauty, The Nutcracker, and of course, Swan Lake. Swan Lake is a romantic ballet comprised of four acts. Tchaikovsky had no experience writing ballet music for the professional theater before he wrote Swan Lake. He based Swan Lake on a symphonic scale and it was one of the first ballets to have a continuously progressing theme from start to finish. The story of Swan Lake is based around two girls, Odette and Odile. Originally their roles were filled by two separate dancers but it has long been customary for a single prima ballerina to perform both parts. Swan Lake is a tragic love story about Odette, a pure girl trapped in the body of a swan by an evil sorcerer where only true love can break the spell. Her wish is nearly granted in the form of a prince named Siegfried. He falls in love with the swan princess, but before he can declare his love, her lustful twin, the black swan, tricks and seduces him. He is tricked by the sorcerer who casts a spell in his daughter, Odile. Devastated, the white swan leaps off a cliff, killing herself, and in death, she finds freedom. In some versions of the ballet, both Siegfried and Odette die. The ballet was first performed on March 4, 1877 at the Bolshoi Theater in Moscow, Russia. The dancers complained that the music was too difficult to dance to, and many considered the show to be a failure. It wasn't until after Tchaikovsky's death that it was appreciated. The ballet was revived on January 15, 1895, and it was performed by the Imperial Ballet at the Marinsky Theater in St. Petersburg. This version is what is most commonly used by ballet companies around the world today. Swan Lake has had lasting effects on the media even outside of ballet. This includes, but it's not limited, to fashion, TV, and the silver screen. Marjan Pajaski designed the swan dress. This iconic dress resembling a white swan was worn by the Icelandic artist Pajork at the Academy Awards in 2001. In 2008, the Daily Telegraph voted it the ninth most iconic red carpet dress of all time. The dress was reimagined by Valentino at its Spring 2014 Couture Fashion Show, and the dress was parodied in the movies White Chicks, as well as an episode of Hannah Montana. In the popular futuristic HBO theme park drama Westworld, in Season 1, Episode 8, music from Swan Lake was used. The music was used to trigger emotions. During a very dramatic heist, music from Tarkovsky's ballet was used to calm the hosts. The 2010 psychological thriller Black Swan, starring Natalie Portman, was centered around an up-and-coming ballerina who was selected as the lead for Swan Lake. This movie not only includes the ballet, but the characters themselves mirror those from Swan Lake. Nina, played by Natalie Portman, is Odette. She is terrified of making mistakes, and her eagerness to please makes it easy for the director of the ballet to manipulate her. The director, in Nina's eyes, is the good Prince Siegfried. She believes he loves her above all others, and he even promises to make Nina his queen. As the movie progresses, Nina realizes he is actually the evil sorcerer. Some would even say Nina's mother could be compared to the evil sorcerer. The mother constantly restricted what Nina could and couldn't do, almost as though she was holding her prisoner. Nina sees rival dancer Lily, played by Mila Kunis, as Odile. They look very similar, but Lily is more of a free spirit and is seen as dangerous. Just like Odile, Nina is afraid Lily will steal her role as Swan Queen. Towards the end of the movie, Nina's paranoia transforms her from the white swan to the black swan, hence the movie title. She is now more deviant and less timid. 
the final scene of the ballet and the movie where Odette dies, it is implied that Nina also dies or is seriously injured. Growing up, I was very fascinated by ballet, especially Swan Lake. The beautiful costumes and the powerful music left a lasting impression on me even at a young age. Even today, I have a collection of Tchaikovsky records, especially Swan Lake, that I listen to frequently. Swan Lake is not only one of the most known and appreciated ballets, it has also influenced many aspects of modern media.